Hey guys, and welcome to today's video where we want to show you a workaround for an existing Instagram issue that few users reported. And the issue is that text gets cut, cut off basically when you have a large number of characters and a button attached. And the reason for this is because UChat does not have an API endpoint to implement a simple text message with a button. As a workaround, we implemented to convert this combination that a user implements inside the Visual Flow Builder, and we convert this in backend into a card. This means that a card has limited text characters and it will result in the text being cut off. In order to help you have a workaround for this, we suggest to do the following. So inside your flow, basically what you can do is go with a send message, then go with a regular text block as you normally would, and then have a huge number of text inside this text block. Soon as you want to point users towards options using the, um, using the button, right? You just add another text block, right? and then add the button. So this text block will have limited characters, basically only the call to action title, and then the button itself. So this would be the new button. So, and this it will be the small text call to action with the button implemented. Because this section will be converted into a gallery card and needs to contain as few characters as possible. I know this is an inconvenience, but this is a good workaround and you just have to split your text. Now people inside of Omnichannel uh, pointed out, of course, that they then need to create separate flows for Instagram. And this is not the case. What you can do inside of the existing flow, right? So normally you could skip this and then have a large number of text for any other channel and then have a button attached. What you can do here is before sending this, we are going with a condition check. And inside this condition check, we are going to check for the channel. So the channel in this case, if it's Instagram, we cannot point towards this solution because this will, this basically means that the text will be cut off and all other channels, so the no path can go towards here. What we're going to do with the Instagram channel, basically make a duplicate of this, but we are going to split the text. So what we are going to do, basically we are only going to go with, to copy these two lines. This will be the last few characters of the text block with the call to action. And then instead of the button here, we will just add another text block, pasting in that text with the button itself. This way you will all be able to have the exact same flow, but for Instagram, you will need to make a little bit of an adjustment. Now you can of course do the same for every other channel if you like to, if you want just to use one block. So, in that case, you can just use this for every single channel, have a huge part or have a large text block with the most characters, and then have a separate text block with a button, basically to have a call to action and point what, the, what you expect the users to do to press that button and continue the flow. So these are the two, uh, basically the two differences between the regular channel and Instagram. And you can implement it like this, or you can just go with this option for all channels as well if you are inside of an omnichannel bot. So you just need to take, uh, take into account that soon as you want to add a button, just to split the text and take the last one sentence, basically, so the last sentence, and use that inside of another text block with a button attached to it. And this single section will then be converted into a gallery card. And this way the text will not be cut off and you still have pretty much the exact same experience. Soon as we have access or found the API endpoint to implement the text with a button, we of course will update the platform accordingly. But for now we suggest you go with this workaround 
as this has been proven to help other users as well. So we hope this video helped you. And if you have any questions, do reach out. Now, have a great day, take care, and we'll talk soon.